Hey guys, Alex Hamilton, URI's Education. Right now we're standing at the Mellon Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. We're going to show you around campus. From the Mellon Institute, which embodies the industrial spirit of the university through its research lab, move along Fifth Avenue to head toward campus. Along the way, you'll pass CMU's famed Software Engineering Institute in the Rand Building. A couple blocks away, turn down Neville Street to see the Res, a first year on campus dorm. And down the hill, you can get a glimpse of the globally renowned Tepper School of Business and its brand new quad. Just by looking at this place, you can get a sense of the brilliant minds the institution cultivates, especially in the realms of business analytics and information systems. From the lot, you can see the WQUED building, where Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood was produced. You'll also see some on-campus residences, including Moorwood, as well as some of the Greek quad. The intersection of Moorwood and Forbes bring us to the heart of campus, the Cut, where on the right, Warner Hall hosts undergrad admissions. You'll also see the Purnell Center for the Arts, while across the Cut is Cohen University Center, as well as various campus eateries. The Walking to the Sky statue embodies aspirations and innovation of CMU students. Margaret Morrison Carnegie Hall hosts the School of Architecture, and it overlooks tennis courts as well as University Center. From the center of the cut, you can see CMU's famous painted fence, as well as buildings across campus, including Doherty Hall, which hosts labs and classrooms for chemistry, biology, and chemical engineering. You can also see downtown Pittsburgh, as well as the historic Baker Hall, home to the Dietrich College of Humanities and Social Sciences, and Hunt Library and the College of Fine Arts. Walk west, and on the left, Baker connects to the other oldest building on campus, Porter Hall, which contains civil and environmental engineering, information systems, and social and decision sciences. And on the right of the mall, you'll see Wien Hall, which contains the Roger Sorrell's Engineering and Science Library. This brings us to Hammerschlag Hall, home to electrical and computer engineering and mechanical engineering labs. And in the back, Roberts Engineering Hall hosts material sciences. A statue out front honors Challenger astronaut and CMU alum, Judy Resnick. Walk between Hammerschlag and the Scott Institute for Energy Innovation, and you get unbeatable views of the University of Pittsburgh's Cathedral of Learning. There's also the mall entrance to Doherty Hall. Back on the cut, you can always hang out at Cohen. Continue east, and you'll see student dorms as well as CMU's Gesling Stadium, home of the D3 Tartans, as well as a children's playground in Donner Ditch, and dorms such as Resnick House and West Wing. Donner House is a first year res hall you'll find several eateries at Resnick, as well as some nice spots to hang out at. Walk along Margaret Morrison Street to see other dorms in the Hill neighborhood. You'll also see Posner Hall, which contains rare books, Posner Center, a classroom space, and the main entrance to Margaret Morrison Carnegie Hall. On the left, Syert Hall hosts computer services. Adjacent Syert is Hillman Center for Future Generation Technologies, and behind that is the Gates Center for Computer Science. In the sprawling new Coulter Welcome Center on the Tepper Quad provides a university introduction to campus visitors. Across the street, 
Hamburg Hall contains the schools of information systems and management and public policy and management at the graduate Heinz College. There's also TCS Hall. And as you walk down Forbes and turn up Craig, you'll see plenty of restaurants and off-campus hangout spots. And from the Carnegie Museum of Art, you can get a beautiful view of campus. Just from checking out the campus and surroundings of Carnegie Mellon University, you can get a sense of the creativity and innovation that characterizes students there. As we saw, CMU has a wide variety of top-ranked programs in schools, including the Dietrich College of Humanities and Social Sciences, the Mellon College of Science, and the Tepper School of Business, among many others. Overall, the acceptance rate average across all schools hovers around 15%, but some schools and programs are going to be more or less selective than that. Fortunately, you'll have plenty of opportunities to make your case for this university in the writing portion. There's a mixture of essay prompts required for admission to CMU, and with a total of three essays of 300 words or less, you're likely going to have more material to gather than you would for other schools. Let's take a look at the first prompt. Unlike your traditional Y school prompt, this prompt is asking you to consider in your own words what a successful college experience is. This gives you the opportunity to set the stage for what it is you would like to discuss regarding CMU, whether that's diverse coursework, extensive research opportunities, professional internships, or some combination of the above. Once you explain your criteria for a successful college experience, you can move into the question implied by the prompt. How does CMU fit into that? There's your opportunity to reference all resources that you can find on the school website, including, but not limited to, courses, clubs, professors, research opportunities. Wien Hall, one of the buildings that we saw earlier, has a tradition where students can leave bottle caps embedded in the walls of the hallway. This is a little way for them to leave their mark on campus. For the purposes of this essay, we too want to leave a metaphorical mark for the admissions committee to follow. Just remember, you're applying to a specific school at CMU, not the entire university itself, so keep that in mind. Now, let's take a look at the second prompt. This is a typical Y major essay. And that's great because that allows us to recycle from any previous Y major essays you may have completed. When discussing your academic interest, make sure to highlight the growth that you've experienced in the subject, from when your passion in it first arose, to some meaningful projects that you may have completed, and finally, to what kinds of contributions you hope to make in the field in the future. In addition to explaining the trajectory of your interest, you'll also want to make sure that the content you discuss here touches upon and complements the YCMU part in the previous essay. This will allow the admissions committee to determine in what ways CMU will be able to complement your pursuit of your major. Now, let's take a look at the third prompt. This prompt is great because it gives you a chance to either recycling existing content from previous essays or write something new entirely to round out your application to CMU. That recycled content could come from a community or leadership essay, a talent or hobby essay, or maybe even an oddball essay about your favorite book or fictional character. But if CMU is your top choice and you really wanna take this space to showcase how much you wanna be there, you can do that as well. For instance, if you hope to major in the top-ranked computer science program at CMU, you can elaborate more on a hackathon or coding competition that you have underwent that you feel makes you a good fit for the university. The same could be said if you wish to study at CMU's highly regarded art program and you wish to use the space to discuss an art piece that you created with the admissions committee. Whatever direction you decide to choose, just make sure that the content that you mention here complements all other aspects of your application, from the other essays to your activity list. And that's it. So guys, let me know down in the comments below 
what you think of the various opportunities that CMU offers. And also be sure to check out some of the other tour videos and essay guidance that we have planned for you. Application season is a stressful time, so I hope these videos have been helpful. And if they have been, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.